what's going on guys thanks if you're back again for another video uh, today we're going to be going over some reasons why you should buy a Nissan GTR I've been a part of these classified uh, like forums and then Facebook groups and whatnot and there was a post today that kind of triggered this video and it was like why should I buy a GTR over a Hellcat and I thought it was funny because I had both so I replied to the man and I kind of wanted to go over those reasons with you guys, not specifically for the Hellcat, but reasons why you should want to buy a GTR if you are in the market for one. So let's go over those reasons. Okay, so as you can see, this location is different from the little intro clip, but I decided to do it inside because I'm tired of standing outside sweating my ass off. It's, it's unbearable. Like I just sit there, I sweat, and I sweat, and, it, and it's just aggravating. So I decided to do this one in the comfort of the house. So here we are in my lovely bonus room, and we're going to get today's vlog going. Um, so let's get on to those reasons of why I think you should buy a GTR. Now, I, this is my own personal list. It, it's just the way that I feel when I drive the car and why I think others should experience it as well. So just keep that in mind. I'm not going off a this is why you should buy it because this article says this and this and this I'm just going on my own personal opinions so let's get started number two is gonna be performance so this is kind of a short one and I'm sure <clears throat> excuse me a lot of you already know this already but the GTR is a competitor of cars that are two to three four times its price and you know, people call it a poor man's supercar, which kind of maybe is, but I think it's I think it's cool and it and it has something to be said and it gives it kind of that underdog factor. But I almost get that feeling that like people with these high number or high dollar supercars are out on the street and they see a GTR pull up, it's kinda of like, oh maybe not try this guy. But that's just my thing. Like the the performance is outstanding for the price that you pay, and that would have to be number two. It is basically to have supercar performance with less money taken out of your pocket. So that's number two. Number three is going to be that it's a conversation starter. It just seems no matter where I go, I can strike up a conversation with anybody and I don't even have to approach them. They come up to me, ask me what kind of car it is, or they're telling me about, oh man, I wish I had one of those, I love those cars, and it's always cool when people start talking to you about it and you're able to conversate with them about your vehicle. And for a car guy, I think some of you can kind of understand what I mean when I say that. Like, it's always fun talking about cars, and it's just, it just makes that, you know, a lot easier. Especially, like, at random locations, too, like the gas station or at a stoplight. It's, it's always fun just talking to people about it and letting them know what it's like to drive it and, you know, just, just know what it's like. And I, I just like talking to people about that kind of stuff. It's... It's, it's always fun. So that's reason number, I forget what hell with it. Let's roll. Actually, that was number three. Now we're on to number four. So sorry for that mix up. But sometimes when you're talking to yourself on camera, you kind of get lost a little bit. So sorry for the mix up. But now we're on number four. So number four would be the impressions it leaves on children. Um, every time I'm at like a Cars and Coffee or just a car show in general, there's always younger kids that are old enough to know what cars are and then there's like the like the younger teens that are always seem to be enamored by this car either they've seen it in a video game or they've seen it in the fast and the furious and they're always just in awe when they see it uh, and most of the time i'll let them sit in it and just kind of maybe rev it up here and like just while i'm standing there just to give them a little feel of what it's like because if i were a kid which I once was, and I would have loved that experience, so why not give that experience back to, you know, the, the younger generation? Um, and I always, I, I just always like seeing that. It's always, a, a not, like, I guess a brightener of your day when you can make an impression on a kid like that, and always afterwards the parents are like, 
oh, thank you for letting me do that, or thank you for letting him do that. That made their day, and they, I always end up talking to the parents after that, and that's always, that's always fun. I, I just like, sorry, my camera decided to die on me. But that was reason number four, is I just enjoy making an impression on young kids and young teens with that car. It's just always fun to see them light up. So, on to number five. So number five is probably probably my most personal one of the of the five, and it would have to be like every time I get in it, for some reason I just feel like I'm in something special. I don't know if it's the fact that it's like I know the history about the vehicle and the predecessors of the, you know you know the models 2009 to to where we are now, but I just it just feels like you're in. A fine piece of machinery I guess you could say like I just I just feel like I'm in something special and I've never had that feeling with a car before um, it's just there's just a different feel to me you know I know that's just my own personal thing but it, it works for me we'll just put it that way and maybe some of you others feel the same way but I, I definitely feel that like I grab the steering wheel I pull out of, out of the garage and I just I just feel like I'm in something important like there was time and effort and put into this. Now I know it has its flaws and and whatnot, but I'm I'm just I just seem to overlook those. And when I did my video of five reasons why I don't like the car, it was really hard to come up with that list. But you just forget about the reasons why you don't like it as soon as you get behind the wheel. I I don't I don't I don't know how to explain it. It just it, it's just a cool feeling to me and I, I like I said I just never had that feeling with a car but maybe if you never drove one and you're in the market for this test drive it and see if you get the same feeling because it happened with me and I again I had my Hellcat before this and I just I don't even think about it. I don't even think about it because this this car is, is far superior to that you know Dodge not that I don't like Dodge or anything I still I'm a fan of their work. I just wish that they would do a little something different, you know. But that's my list. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this video and want to know more about the GTR, what it's like to own it, modifications, whatnot, hit that bell button. Subscribe, comment, like. Do what you got to do. Let's go. Let's get to 1,000 subscribers before December 31st. That is my that is my ultimate goal. I'm trying this YouTube thing. It's pretty difficult for me to film myself, but I'm kind of starting to dig it a little bit. So let's hit that 1,000, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. Oh, I didn't do that one good. Wait, that still wasn't right. Peace. Wait, one more. Peace. It's like one of those awkward handshakes, I guess. Side note. Do your research before you go look at one. Make sure that you don't. It doesn't have a lot of past owners. Um, preferably in the one to two range, three and four. I I wouldn't do it, but that's up to you. But I definitely get it inspected by Nissan and let them go over the car and kind of dig into the PCM to let you know what has been done to the car. Like they can tell you exactly what has been done how the car has been driven, and if it's had a programmer on it. So I would suggest one that has none of that, that hasn't been touched, that was fully stock, just so you have it in the back of your mind that your car is, uh, I guess you could say that it, that it wasn't beat, I guess. So that's just a little side note, but we'll do another video on that one later on. Uh, but for now, that's the end of my five reasons why, and that's all I got. So... That was just a just a little side note there. See you guys. Oh.